Let's talk about how the compiler locates assemblies, and then we'll talk about how the runtime locates assemblies. It's a completely different process for both, and it's important to understand them. I have here from previous videos our assembly version and our cow, and just the code we've been working with through several videos. I said C sharp compiler, target a library, output farm.dll, and the input file will be main class CS, this file right here. And we've done this several times in previous videos, but if you think about it, C sharp compiler is not located in the me C sharp code directory or folder. Yet it just seems to magically work. Furthermore, we have console write line, which console class is located in the MS core lib assembly, Microsoft core lib assembly. And yet nowhere in here do I say reference Microsoft core lib. And furthermore, it just seems to magically work. Let's hit enter here. The compiler grinds and is happy. Clear the screen. List the contents of the directory. We have here farm.dll. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed or not, but I'm using the Visual Studio command prompt. This is different than the command prompt you get if you just open up your uh, Windows key and then type command. There's another command prompt comes up says just regular command prompt. Right, not the Visual Studio command prompt. The Visual Studio command prompt, when it loads, it runs a DOS, DOS shell script called vsvars32.bat. And if you look at it, and you can uh, learn a little bit about DOS scripting. It's really not that complicated. But one of the key things that vsvars32 does when you open up the Visual Studio command prompt is it sets up the path variable. Let me show you what I mean by the path variable. I'm going to say set path. Set path is a command in, or set is a command in, in DOS prompting scripting that says, hey, I want to set an environment variable that will be global for the scope of this command prompt. It's just like setting variables in code, but we're setting them in, in this command prompt thing. And if I say set path without actually setting it to something, without assigning it to something new, then I actually get the listing of what is in the path variable. I'm going to do the exact same command over here, set path. You can see that the path variable here is shorter than the path variable over here, the Visual Studio command prompt. When it runs that VSVARS32 script, it adds some stuff to our path. So I actually took some liberty to <coughs> break this path up onto several lines and just examine it here. And when I type C sharp compiler, literally what happens is the DOS prompt searches these paths one by one. And the first one that has a C sharp compiler or CSC command that can be executed wins. And it just so happens that the first path with CSC inside of it is the C Windows Microsoft Net Framework version 4.0, which is where the C Sharp compiler is installed on my computer, version 4.0 of the framework. Well, let me bring that into view. I have it right here for your consumption. And if we look around a little bit, hey, look right here, C Sharp compiler.exe. So when I run csc.exe in the command prompt, this is the csc.exe that executes. And if you notice, I'll scroll down here and hopefully you're seeing, look at this, look at this, there's a lot of DLLs here, and these are managed DLLs, these are not unmanaged DLLs, they are managed DLLs, and it's looking like they are pretty much all the DLLs that we could ever possibly want by default whenever we compile using the command line compiler, which is exactly what Visual Studio does. When you hit Control shift b in Visual Studio, it just uses the command line compiler just as I'm doing in the in the DOS prompt. Now let me scroll around here a little bit up to the M's and hey, look right here, mscorelib.dll. There's the mscorelib assembly. Now all these assemblies here exist simply for the command line compiler for csc.exe, the runtime, when you actually run your executable, it has no idea these assemblies are sitting here. These assemblies were essentially installed twice, once in your global assembly cache for the runtime to locate, which I just showed in, in previous videos, and then here they're installed simply for the C-sharp compiler to reference. Now, by default, the C-sharp compiler will reference the MS Core Lib assembly for you. That's just built into the compiler. It is always there. And then when it references it, it finds it locally right next to the C Sharp compiler in the same directory as the C Sharp compiler 
right here. So that is why I magically get console write line uh, without the compiler complaining. Now just to prove to you that this is the case, I'm going to bring in our C sharp code folder that we've seen in previous videos. And here's the farm DLL. What I want to do is compile main class against the farm as we've done in several videos. I want to reference the farm assembly. But instead of having the farm assembly sit here right next to where I'm running the command line compiler from, I'm going to cut this and go over here. This is probably not too intelligent to do, but uh, I don't think it's going to cause any problem. I'm going to move the farm assembly into the same directory as csc.exe. I'll paste it right there. And then let's open up our command prompt again. And clear the screen. And let's say C sharp compiler, please reference farm.dll, which is not here. Which is not here. We're going to reference the farm DLL and compile our main class. So let's input main class.cs, hit enter, and notice the compiler does not issue an error. It did not find farm DLL inside this folder. Instead, it found it in the local folder where the C sharp compiler is located. As you saw, I just dumped farm.dll there. However, when I run main class.exe and hit enter, we get a runtime error. It says, hey, uh, uh, I was trying to find this uh, farm assembly, but I couldn't find this farm assembly. Why can't the runtime n find the farm assembly? Because the farm assembly is no longer located here in our C me C sharp code directory. Instead, it's it's off in this directory where the C sharp compiler is located. In the .NET framework, the runtime, the CLR, does not know nor care about this directory. This directory simply exists for the C sharp compiler. So there you go. That's how the C sharp compiler locates assemblies. In the next video, I'm going to talk more about how the runtime locates assemblies in that process. We've seen a little bit of it before, but we're going to examine it in depth in the next video.